Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet. Guys, that means he cried. The things that God showed this prophet, this man of God, the destruction that was coming, he weeped. He cried over what he saw. This is a man, a real man. But I've, I'm 58, soon to be 59, and I've seen some grown men cry. First time I ever heard about it was my mother telling me about my daddy crying over his daddy when he died. And in this life, I've seen some grown men cry. I've cried. I've, I've seen men cry over their sin. Jeremiah was crying over the sin of Judah. And God showed him what was coming. And for 25 years or better, he yelled out, raised his voice, made a fool out of himself, like putting stocks on him, like oxen being in stocks, like What's going to come against you guys? You're going to be taken in to slavery and bondage. You know, anything to get through to his brethren. Man, judgment is coming. God's judgment is coming. And when the book of Jeremiah is over, the next book is Lamentations. And Jeremiah talks there and goes, oh, they never believed. That this would happen. That the enemy would come through our gates and whoop our behinds. And take us into bondage and destroy the temple and burn the house down. My dear brethren in America. The same destruction is coming to us. This place that took 300 years to build up. Is fixing to be tore down. Things that will make you cry. I mean, I can understand if you don't know Christ, if you don't have faith in God, why you just ignore this and don't want to hear it. Because a person with faith in God has a hard time listening to it. Because even Jeremiah cried. It made him cry. You know, I can remember growing up, my daddy telling me before he'd whip me, boy, this is going to hurt me more than you. And I never believed it until I got older. To see what people have to go through because they won't listen to the truth. They walk in stubbornness. They won't acknowledge God. It'll make a grown man cry. To think that Sharia law coming to America would be good for America. That's enough to make you cry. You say, well, how would that be good for America? Because if Sharia law doesn't come, and tell people, if you get found out that you're gay, we're going to cut your head off. This stuff is going to stay in everybody's face. It's going to flaunt in the face of God. Where God is going to do to America what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah. It's a shame. The Judeo-Christian nation with the Bible. The Old Testament, the law. The New Testament, the grace of God. That we have got to this condition. That God has to send in. The Muslim Brotherhood. Hezbollah. Al-Qaeda, 
Hamas, and the list goes on and on and on of men to slay other men that have instincts like animals. The Bible tells us what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah happened as an example to us and those who would live likewise. The streets are going to run with blood a holocaust because America has turned their back on God. You better get back to church. You better get back to Jesus. You better get back to the truth, America, before there is a bloodbath.